Safes can have numerous different functionalities, whether that's storing money, currency in different forms, or even gold. I'm gonna show you today how I 3D printed this safe out of PETG plastic on my uh, Prusa Mini 3D printer. Safes are a battle role in modern day life. You know, you gotta use them in banks, you gotta use them in different circumstances. Here we have a 3D printed safe. Now let me show you its functionalities. On the front side, we have a knob, or the dial, and we have a little unlocking knob. This unlocking knob interfaces with this lever on the side to help the safe unlock. Currently, it is in its locked pins position for this demonstration. How can we unlock a safe? Well, this is a dial safe, or a combination lock. You may have seen them on school lockers or day-to-day -day life, maybe bike racks. Now, let's unlock it. Basically, every combination safe has three discs or more, depending on the number of digits that you want to enter. Those can be fairly advanced. This one is just three digits. So basically, let's go ahead and figure out how to unlock this. Well, as you see, there are three discs, and each disc has two notches. One is the interfacing notch, and one is the unlocking notch. So how can we unlock it? Well, first, in order to reset a dial safe, you're going to have to turn this three times. Three times allows all disks to interface properly. One, two, three. Now, as you could see, we have all three, all three of the interfacing notches lined up, as you can see here. They will now all interface into each other. Now, let's find the first code. Now, as you can see here, we have the number 50. The first notch, as you can see slightly peeking out just over there, is not 50. But rather, you want to turn it a little bit more so that you can get, if we turn it, as you can see, we want the notch to line up with this cam or this lever over here. So when it comes down, it goes into the notch. The first number is 52. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn it the other way until it interfaces in the backwards direction, not interrupting the bottommost disc. Now let's find the other digit. The other digit is 30. As you can see, now you have two notches lined up for entry. Now let's get the third notch. So we want to twist it the other direction so that it doesn't interfere with the other two notches. The last number is 20. So now we can go ahead and unlock the safe. And when we go to lock it again, the lever actually flings the discs in the same direction but at different rates or it's based off of friction and different coefficients and factors and everything so they all go ahead and just spread themselves apart and that is how the combination safe works thanks for watching my video